think about Memphis and a lot of things come to mind. The Blues, Elvis and Graceland, the Mississippi River, maybe even FedEx. But this is what's at the heart of Memphis, a barbecue. For the people who live here, this sweet, tangy, delicious flavor is something they can enjoy any time, any day of the week. For many automakers, achieving that kind of everyday barbecue effect is the ultimate goal. Build a car people want to drive every day and keep them coming back for more. For the past couple of decades, that recipe has had a distinctly Japanese taste. But today, Chevrolet is introducing the all-new Malibu, a new sedan with an American flavor that Chevrolet hopes consumers will gobble up. Let's see if they've got their recipe right. The makings of a good barbecue and a good car are the same. It has to look good, feel good, and taste good. So what about the Malibu's looks? Pretty much anything would be an improvement over the previous car, but what really surprised us is how good the Malibu looks next to its primary Japanese competitors, the Toyota Camry, Nissan Altima, and Honda Accord. It's the small things that count, and on this car, Chevrolet has taken the extra step beyond the Malibu's good basic design and decided to have some fun, too. As far as the way the Malibu's interior feels, Chevrolet has made some great efforts to outfit it with a comfortable, high-quality environment. The LTZ version we drove is fitted with heated leather seats, overhead ambient lighting, black chrome accents, and prominent gauges. And together with an eye-catching two-tone design, the Malibu is a great example of the attention to detail that GM now pays to its interiors. When you have a good recipe, it often gets passed around, especially to family members. So it's no surprise that from behind the wheel, the Malibu reminds us of the Saturn Aura, with which it shares its basic underpinnings. This is a good thing. After all, the Aura was voted North America Car of the Year, which is not too shabby. There are three powertrain choices in the Malibu. A 2.4 liter four-cylinder, a hybrid based on the same four-cylinder, and a 3.6 liter V6 engine. The new Malibu looks and feels appetizing, but let's take it for a taste test. The LTZ model is equipped with a 252 horsepower, 3.6 liter V6, and a six-speed automatic transmission. The transmission comes with paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel. They're really well executed. Not only do the paddles themselves feel good in your hands, but when you shift, it stays in that gear. It'll hold it all the way to redline, or if you're lugging the engine, it'll stay in that gear until around 1200 RPM before it decides to downshift on you. That's something that I, like a lot of enthusiasts, really appreciate. The backcountry roads in Tennessee are mostly straight and mostly flat, but we did find enough curves to find out that the Malibu handles pretty well. It's no sports sedan, but the handling is sharp, the steering is good, and overall the Malibu is very composed. Even going down the highway, despite the sporty suspension, you're not getting beaten up, but it has a nice, smooth, comfortable ride. Overall, this is probably the best effort GM has ever put forward in this category. Not only is the Malibu better than the car that it succeeds, but it's also right up there with this category's primary leaders, the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry. So did Chevy get the recipe right? Well, the new Malibu has looks, it has a performance, and it even has little details that will delight owners. Not only did they get the recipe right, they may have won the whole cook-off. For MyRide.com, I'm Keith Buglowitz. We'll see you next time.